Welcome to the Unstuck Podcast. Uh, my name's Cameron. It's just going to be me today. My wife Heather normally is with me, and we're still going to do a lot of podcasts together, but we've kind of been thinking lately that there'd be times that we just have little nuggets of things that we're thinking of that we can just do on our own. And uh, I just have had something in my mind that I really want to talk to talk to you about, and it's something that keeps coming up in all of the discussions that I talk about um, for myself, and when I hear people talking about um, being successful and how to overcome things, there's a basic thing that just keeps coming up every single time. Even when people who are in business, when I, when they're very successful, if you listen to podcasts have the, that you hear people like that, there's a specific thing that keeps coming up. And that is, and I'm going to call it this, an empowered mindset. It's the mindset that says, I own the actions in my life and how things show up. And I'm interested in talking with you about that today. Because I believe it's the very foundation of everything. If you are looking to achieve anything, it is going to start right there. If you are trying to achieve a better relationship, if you are trying to achieve more financial success, if you are trying to just not have problems with your health, it comes first with a mindset that says, I am the agent of change in my life. Say that out loud. I am the agent of change in my life. I've thought about this for a long time. It's an interesting concept. I believe that you cannot create a future. I believe you can influence a future powerfully to the point that it's almost like creation, but technically you're never making it happen. And I think that even goes down to the fundamental, um, the fundamental ways agency works. I think even God doesn't make things happen. He influences things perfectly to where it pretty much has control. His will is just obeyed through the influence that he has that is so perfect. And I think that's exactly what we do to our future. So for instance, I can influence my future with my health where I'm working out every day, I'm eating right, I'm I'm feeling good, and my muscles are growing, and my my body fat is shrinking and I'm and I'm doing things in a way that is helping my body be the healthiest it can be. But I can still get hit by a car tomorrow. I can still die of cancer that I didn't recognize where it came from or just came from some bad choices earlier in life that I hadn't had it off yet. I think that it's important to understand that, that whenever I'm working with, and, and again, with other people, and when I'm, when I'm working with my wife and I'm, and I'm in, a, in a relationship and I'm trying to uh, achieve certain goals in our relationship, I can, I can influence her, but I can't make her do anything, right? And I really think that's important to have that kind of mindset too. I'm influencing things. And so what's important to, what, with the empowered mindset is to recognize that I do have influence, that what I do creates the things that are happening in my life. If you are finding that you have results that just keep showing up, I don't care what it is. It could be something that so seems like it's not in your control. I, I adamantly believe that those results do have in part something that you're doing, be it your thoughts, probably starting with your thoughts, or be it your actions, but I think it starts with your thoughts. When you have an empowered mindset, you can look at that and say, I have a result I don't like. I can't make my future happen, but I can influence it to the most powerful way I can to where it pretty much will happen the way I want, or at least will happen the best way it can. That's really what I want to talk to you about today. I, I, I really feel like whenever I'm reading posts online and people who are struggling with things, it really comes down to that. The victim, victimizer, that, that, that kind of mindset where we, we feel that we, we are disempowered. So opposite, of course, of empowered mindset is disempowered. And I think we often fall into this. I can tell you, uh, recently I've been grappling with um, um, some health issues that I've had that I've experienced for a very long time. I've had tension level, tension headaches that are migraine level for quite a long time. Probably since I was in my late teens that I start noticing how strong they were. I was noticing them before that, but they got very strong around then. And they 
honestly just kind of gotten a little stronger as I've gotten older. And I had no idea what it was. I went to quite a few doctors. I haven't exhausted it, to be honest, but I've, I've, I've done a lot to try to figure it out. Um, and nothing really seemed to touch it. And it's hard for me to grapple with that some of it might be in my mindset, but it likely is. Um, I have to, I have to look at that. Am I getting some sort of, uh, social traction with my wife and others through having this, this ailment that can, that can happen. And I think is very common for a lot of us. So I do have to look at that, but that's, but that's my point. I'm, I'm, I, I still need to tell myself there's something I can do to, to, to improve my situation. So I have been, I've been um, looking at my diet a little harder and working harder on my metabolism. I recently found out that I do have an autoimmune disease of um, Hashimoto's um, hypothyroidism. I'm preclinical, so I don't have a lot of those um, hypothyroid uh, type um, symptoms yet. Thank goodness. Uh, but I definitely could. And uh, some of those uh, ailments and headaches might be tied to them. So I have these things to work on, but what I could do is just say, well, this is my problem and I'm just a symptom. The symptom of my problem is these headaches and just whenever they come up, it's just, that's just it. People around me just need to deal with it. I have no way to uh, alleviate it other than with over-the-counter medications and trying, trying all my, my meds and hopefully they work, right? Hopefully. I don't want to be that way though. And I think that most people, when they're honest, don't want to be that way either. The hardest thing about having an empowered mindset, though, is that I do take responsibility for my influence on the world. I don't take responsibility for how things show up. Things are going to show up in a lot of ways. I know some of you are going to be thinking to myself that I've been victimized very powerfully. There's, there's some really awful things that can happen to you. And they do. They do. They happen to everybody. And um, those are not your fault. That's really important to understand how how things do happen to you can legitimately not be your fault your how you go from there there are parts of it how you act on it can be influenced by you those can be your fault but when somebody victimizes you that is just not your fault that is them trying to take your power and agency and and uh, i do want to make that that very clear and i also want to make it clear that there are there are moments in your life when um you are compelled in a situation where you 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 might be in real danger. Uh, say, like, I don't know, you get caught in a flood. You know, you're fighting for your life. There's a lot of things that you're not empowered to do at the moment. You're just trying to get through those 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 um, basic needs. And those, you know, Maslow's hierarchical, hierarchical um, chart of needs and things like that, th those are real. I mean, if you don't have shelter, you don't have food, you, you do have some obligations that have to be acquired first. But a lot of us are not in that situation. And I think most of the time we are not in that situation. We have food. We have our shelter. We have our needs met. Be careful with that. because I think sometimes we overemphasize what we think our needs, which leads me to the next thing I want to talk about. The best part about being in an empowered mindset is that I can move into desire over needs. When I'm in a need state, I am taking. That is just what you're doing. You don't even mean to. If I need my wife to, to show up for me in a certain way, I am taking at that point. If she needs for me to do something, she's taking. If I need money, I'm going to be in, a, in, a, in an act of sort of taking. It's hard to explain, but, but I think you know what I mean. If you are in a need state, you are, you are obligated to do something instead of in a mode of desire. And I think you can... In almost every situation, you can switch it to an empowered state where you can, you can move into a desire state. So for instance, if I definitely need more money, okay, the word need, I can move into a state where I say, I'm okay at the moment, okay, I've got where I'm sitting, I'm okay, I've got food in my belly, I, I've got a place I'm living, living. I, I, I can look at that and then I say, okay, I definitely have the situation that could obligate me in a way that I don't want, but it needs to happen. You do have a legitimate need. You have a bill, okay? It needs to be paid. But when I'm in an empowered state, I can say how I want to go about this, how I want to feel about this 
can be how can I desire to move in this direction in the way that I can influence it the most powerful. Keep that, keep that word in mind, influence. I'm influencing. So if you find yourself in a place where you feel like you're in a need state, how can you influence your set, yourself and in your station and the things that are going on around you, how can you influence it the most powerful you can? And that's pretty much what I want to talk about. This is, this is to me is one of the most basic and fundamental feelings. When I was listening to, um, a therapist today on a podcast, it came back to that again about claiming your life, claiming who you were, claiming yourself. Again, that's an empowered state. You have to move into the empowered state. No one's going to claim my life for me. No one's going to uh, do stuff. You can wait. A lot of us do that. We're, we're in a relationship and we're waiting for the person to show up the way we want. It doesn't work. You can try it over and over and over again. And so many of us are trying that right now. I want you to evaluate very carefully. Is this working? I, I bet you if you evaluate it carefully, a lot of that kind of mindset is just not working. Occasionally it pays off. And so you think to yourself, well, look, it worked out. It worked out. So I'm going to keep doing it. It doesn't work. If you act in an empowered way, if you take responsibility for the influence you have in the world around you, the world will show up in a much more powerful way. I promise that. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.